live at five. It's Opera Review. And um, we're going to kind of continue this conversation from yesterday about why people are so disappointed with Adam Warlock. And I just think this is one of the better posts I've read on Reddit in a minute. Uh, I, I see this guy here in, in chat all the time. And I hope I get your name right. I know it's a D&D &D thing. Ray Stalin. I hope I said it right. The real reason Adam Warlock doesn't feel power enough to some players is that Boundless character design process. Silver Surfer, no need to show restraint. That guy's broken, man. Make him OPAF. Players should be made aware to mind the gap. Kestrel. Who, who the F is Kestrel? No need to show as much restraint on his surfer. This is Kestrel. Make her the OPest of, of all time. Yeah, she's the, she's the best standalone character in the game right now. Finity Watch. No need for restraint. Better to err them being too powerful than risk them not being powerful enough. They do have Infinity in their name after all. Yeah. The, so let's just let's just back up. These six characters right now: Silver Surfer, Kestrel, the the four Infinity Watch testers. Run, don't walk. Upgrade them. Any star level, any red level. They are brokenly good. No restraint. Now let's go to Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock, one of the most powerful characters in the Marvel Universe. The game's first mythic, mythic legendary. And I do want to say he's good in Dark Dimension 4. A lot of people have told me that he's quite effective in Dark Dimension 4. We better be extra careful that he isn't too powerful. Let's add restraint all over his kit. Restrict his basic by excluding ability block and stunt. Restrict his special by limiting part of it only to villains. Restrict his alt by limiting it to part only in Vending Watch. It's like they built the kit to be anti-Black Order. Evidently, Boundless doesn't know how to get Power Leap under control. Ironically, they chose to do this on one character arc, but they should have been actually overpowered. And and I think this edit actually merits saying, too. I don't think Adam Warlock is terrible. I just don't think... Given how broken Silver Surfer and Kestrel is and Infinity Watch Sister is, he isn't. He's good. He's amazing. I thought this, I was clear, but I was just saying that uh, plainly. I'm not saying Adam Warlock isn't good. I'm there with you. All I'm saying is Boundless erred on the side of caution with Adam Warlock to make sure he wouldn't be broken, overpowered. I'm saying this approach is why some players feel he isn't powerful enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get to offer review. And uh, we're going to skip through this offer. This is a similar offer that we had the last couple days right here. Dual Saboteur Orb offer. So this is not the the character shard offer this is the event uh, orb so if if you're looking if your primary thing is you're looking for sharon carter this is not the preferred orb this orb is the one that has sharon carter on the side random characters in the middle with a higher drop rate uh for sharon carter so i don't like buying these orbs i think it's just better to to core the event refresh the nodes don't buy this i just don't see the and then you double dip on the milestones for captain america right I don't know. I just don't get it. Uh, wield the shield orb offer. This So this is... Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Sam Cap, whatever we're going to call him. Captain Falcon, whatever. There's like 19 versions of his name, but it's Sam. This is the, the, the one that gives a minimum 6, maximum 180. Average is a little more than 9. I value these orbs at $3 a piece. So to me, this is $15. I do want to buy one of these offers uh, just so that I can get the strike pass... Uh, because the strike pass is now live in game and then you know you can get 50 on the free track and then if you spend the $20 you get another 50 and then I could buy $20 here and then I average 9 times 5 you'll be 45 uh, 45 shards and then I'll be good at a 5 star because this release method is like Polaris and I just want to at least get him to 5 stars that way if he's uh, required for legendary uh, I'm good so I'm thinking I'm gonna yeah you know what we're gonna do it right now I'm just going to do it right now. I already know I'm going to buy it, so why not just do it here on the stream? Uh, big shout out to Amazon Coins. I'm sponsored by Amazon Coins. This allows me to save 20% uh, on my in app purchases. And so that's kind of a big deal. Um, you know, I've been uh, saving uh, on my in app purchases. 20% is a significant amount. I'm basically effectively saving, uh, let's see, I want to say about $100 a month. So thank you and big shout out to everybody that uses the link that's in the description. Actually, anything you buy on Amazon, uh, I get credit for that. You know, if you click that link, anything you buy on Amazon for the next 24 hours, I do get credit for it. So thank you very much. And if you, uh, if you, um, 
don't if you are buying on amazon and you don't click on someone's link it doesn't have to be my link but the money's literally disappearing to amazon and so uh it's it's, it's just a small amount but i, I want to assure you it's just a small percent you know some some purchases are only like one or two percent uh, but uh, every little bit helps believe me uh all right thank you we got that we're gonna open that here in a minute all right premium orb pack we talked about this yesterday this does fall into the boomer bucks of one dollar per orb I'm not going to buy this, but uh, what they we're talking about here is that Kestrel and Anavenom are the, the boosted drop rates in premium orbs. Like before yesterday, Kestrel had a 0.65 drop rate. Now she has a 2%. 2% for Kestrel, 2% on Anavenom, which is suspect. It's always horrible. Call was removed from that, and Call now is in the war store. Tons of people have uh, confirmed that Kestrel is, or that. Uh, uh, Cull, Obsidian Cull is now in the war store. Kestrel's not in the war store. Kestrel's 2% drop rate in premium orbs, which is not farmable. Also, it looks like Kitty is now in the raid orb. I opened up 83 raid orbs and I pulled 40 something. 40 something uh, Kitty shards. Probably a little above average there uh, is what, that what I'm hearing from a lot of people. And then, of course, Iceman now is a hard no drop. Okay. Uh, ISO 8 energy offer. I'm now, uh, this, I'm not buying this offer, but pre-patch, I valued this at $5. Now I value at $10. However, because of the double drop rates now on campaign energy for ISO stuff, these now here, I feel they're worth half as much. So I, I'm not buying this, but I could see a lot of people buying it. Do what you got to do. ISO 8 calendar, ISO 8 energy calendar. Okay. I bought this last week and I'll give you the logic of it is that 910 ISO used to value at 450. Now, because they doubled everything, I'm now valuing it at $9. So uh, I feel that this is reasonable enough. I bought this last week. I'm not going to buy it today because I'm kind of overspent on the game. I kind of, I've got to make it to the seventh. I've got you know, what, so many Amazon coins. I, I budget myself now, man. Um, and the reason for this is that double drop rates. Uh, basically, they permanently boosted the drop rates on the, the campaign nodes for ISO. The green ISO now uh, has twice as many ions and twice as many ISOs, and it even gives fragments. Anyways, it's probably the best thing that's happened this patch by far. Plus, they also doubled the 12 nodes to, to do 20 refreshes instead of 10. Fantastic. Silver promotion credits offer. I, I, I Maybe I overstated the value on this the other day. This is a very mediocre offer. This is not like an exceptional offer. Uh in the past, they have actually sold 50 silver promotion credits for $3. I think they did that around Christmas time. So this is a normal offer. Yes, I bought this in the past. Uh, and I feel like it's more of like a, an issue where, uh, you know, I'm on the hunt for an important character, like one of those six characters I mentioned at the beginning of the video, like, uh, you know, Phyla, whatever. Like I needed Phyla and I was under 150. And so I bought this to get it over 150. That way when Phyla showed up in the store, I was ready to go. Do what you got to do. That's what I'm trying to say. But I don't think this is like a no-brainer everybody should buy offer. Anyways, let's move on. Garbage. Talked about this. The drop rates. It's better off to refresh the store. This is uh, n n half as good as it was before the patch. This was never really an exceptional buy before the patch. Anyways, this is basically the same pricing that they had on green iso since like last october it's trash Let's say it together one two three trash it's trash also trash all right heroic deal uh i value the 800 energy at four bucks and i don't value the rest of this at six dollars that being said right now uh the only time i would ever consider this is if there's some sort of double drops uh check the events tab i don't think there's anything special running right now let's move on uh, special orb draft value gold orbs at two dollars a piece training orbs at two dollars a piece so four dollars premium orbs at one dollar a piece three bucks so i'm not going to buy this because three dollars i don't want to buy a gold orb for three bucks let's move on um by the way um I, i've been having fun with reddit every single day on reddit you know there's a post about more not having enough gold seems to be the number one complaint is the gold bottleneck i get it and my and my feeling about that is that if people are, are looking at new character offers and saying, why would I buy that new character? Because I'm never going to have enough gold to upgrade them. That's when Scopely needs to take pause and say, hey, people are not buying our character offers just because they don't have enough gold. It seems like that's what's happening a lot of times. 
Uh, this orb is terrible. That is the ability orb. Premium orb is a buck for one dollar. Gold orb, value though at two bucks. Ability orb, ten cents. Not gonna buy it. Not gonna buy an ability orb for a buck. It's only worth ten cents to me. It's trash. Limited time sale. Nothing special about this. Yeah, nothing limited about it either. This is always here. At value of value, at best of value, these are two dollars a piece. So that's twelve bucks plus another four dollars, maybe. Not even close to thirty bucks. Trash. All of this is trash. This is trash also. Uh, I value these at $2 a piece, so that's four bucks, plus maybe another buck, $5 total. Not even close to $10. Think everything down here is garbage. Let's just scroll and see if there's anything even worth talking about. All of this is trash on trash on trash. Trash shitty. <laughs> what? How do they hide? They hit this way down here. What? Moon Dragon offer hidden at the bottom? All right. If you have the other three members of the Infinity Watch, if you have Phyla, Gamora, Nebula, I would recommend buying this. I would recommend buying Moon Dragon if you do not have her unlocked and you have the other three members of the Infinity Watch. They are that good. And like I said earlier, Infinity Watch sisters, they can do almost anything at any star level. They're just brokenly good. Like that post on Reddit. Uh, no restraint on the power levels on... Uh, that team. After all, the name Infinity is in the team. Let's go to my alternate account. This is my uh, free-to-play account and that I do not spend money on. Sometimes there's different offers on here. So I'm going to scroll through this and uh, take a look at the offers that are not duplicates. We're going to scroll past all of these. I believe all of these we've already looked at. I don't see anything different over here. No, nothing. I wonder. Hmm. Oh, okay. So this is different right here. Domino. Boy, Domino. Domino, the only thing that Domino is, well, Domino is good at dying. Uh, she seems just, uh, the t AI just targets her and she dies, which is unfortunate because Deadpool will revive if she's still alive. Uh, that being said, uh, Domino is, uh, you know, the, the important members on the X, X Factor team, in my opinion, are uh, X-23 and Teenage Warhead. And from there, it's just kind of whatever, right? Uh, you, they all do their thing, but none of them are, they're not as, quite as important. That being said that the, the X factor team at five stars unlocks doc Ock, who has a lot of value, a lot of value in different game modes. Uh, you know, I got use out of him in dark dimension four. I use him almost every day in raids. He's quite effective inside of Alliance war. He's definitely a solid character. Let's move on. All right. The all father offer. Okay. Uh, a lot of people are saying, well, wait, that should be Odin. I guess there was kind of a reference to Thanos and this. And I guess, I don't know, there's a million things in the comic book. I mean, there's a Bambi reference in the comic books, so go figure. Um, yeah, if you have the, the four members of the Black Order and you don't have Thanos, I could, I could say you could buy this. Also, I think uh, Thanos has a lot of value when paired with Ebony Ma and Raids. Thanos plus Ebony Ma and raids. They use that almost every day. But if you don't, if you don't have Ebony Ma unlocked, I don't see any point in buying this. Uh, but without Ebony Ma, I, he doesn't really hold his own as a standalone character, even as a battery. Uh, definitely is worth considering, though. If you have Ebony Ma, there's a lot of value there with Ebony Ma and Thanos together. Let's move on. Captain Marvel. I actually don't have a good reason for anybody to buy this. I don't think this is a good deal at all. I would not recommend this to anybody, actually. Let's move on. That's it. That's the end of offer view. All right, let me know what you think in the comment section. And I think we're just going to end it there. All right. Okay, bye.